Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, what's up? My name is VNA Strick. Thank you so much for being here. As you can see by the title, today I'm gonna to be doing a full face of e.l.f., but not just any e.l.f. products. I wanted to do the newer products of e.l.f. because I know that they come out with a lot of products. And let's be honest, this new product kind of inspired this video. I know that there's so many reviews out there, so I kind of wanted to change it up and not only show you guys um, these brand new products, but of course, just show you guys a lot of what e.l.f. has to offer. So I figured why not do it all on my face for you guys today so I hope that you guys enjoy this video and if you do enjoy this video you know what to do please make sure to give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel to join my squad let's get into it um, yeah I'm very excited I kind of explained everything in the intro we are gonna be talking about the new products but I also just wanted to show you guys some other products as well by the way I do have plumping gloss on my lips will get ginormous by mid video so just letting you guys know i'm not having an allergic reaction so let's just go ahead and start out with the base obviously um these are the brand new elf halo glow liquid filters i am going to use them today as literally my base not just as primer so i'm actually i have three different shades i'm going to use this as almost like my foundation if you will this as my cream bronzer and then this as my highlight i actually have tried these products out a couple times already because i wanted to give you more of a review but because we're using these for our base I still figured why not prime so I kind of just want to put as many products in this video that are new as possible newer to elf so we are gonna start out with the elf power grip primer obviously everybody knows this primer as a gripping primer what this is gonna do is give your skin a little bit of hydration and also just make it a little bit tacky so that whatever products you put on top will last these gripping primers are so funny to me because um, I like the idea, I like how they work, but I hate applying them. To me, it just, it makes me cringe a little bit because it is like a, I don't know, like a harder gel to spread out. And obviously I have like skincare and sunscreen under this, so sometimes you know it's not the best right after you do your skincare but the primer itself works well um it creates a really nice base it's not gonna like hide any pores or anything like that but i definitely feel like if you um struggle with your makeup not lasting um this would be a good product for you i'm gonna let this sit for a minute and let's move on to brows really quickly because this product i like it but it does kind of take a while to dry so for brows we're gonna be using the elf brow lift now this is gonna be a brow gel kind of like the one that abh has and what i love about it is that they actually came out also with their own like tool to use it so the cool thing about this product is that a little bit goes a long way so i only get the smallest bit you can probably tell it looks like i don't really use it i do use it sometimes but when i do it's just the tiniest amount so all you're gonna do is put this to your brows and this is just a very inexpensive way to have that laminated look. The only thing I will say is I personally think it takes a long time to dry. So I like to do brow gel first, then go in with like a pencil or a powder. So I have to like let it dry. So that's the only thing that I don't like. This is the difference. I personally don't like to push them down because I don't like the flat look. Um, I think it looks good on other people. I like more of a natural laminated look. So this is what we're going for and that's the before. See how my lips are getting a little juicier? Moving on to the base now that this primer is sitting. By the way, it gives just a slight tack. I don't think it actually gets really sticky, but I like the way it feels. It, it definitely gives a really nice base. Is this a freckle? Oh my god. I've been trying to take this dot off of my lip and I think it's a freckle. Is this a new freckle? Let's move on to what you're here for. These, the e.l.f. Halo Glow Liquid Filter. Let me tell you guys a little secret, a little dirty secret. I've actually have never tried, I've never tried the Charlotte Tilbury ones, so I can't tell you if it's a dupe, but according to my sources, they are dupes, and these are obviously more affordable, and I believe they also have a little bit more coverage, but I'm gonna review these as their own product, not as a dupe. So I ended up getting three different shades. So this I kind of got for like a liquid highlight, so this is the shade four medium and then i got the shade five medium tan for my base again to match my body not my face and i got shade six tan deep 
for a liquid bronzer. So we're gonna use all these today. To be honest, after using these two products, we probably won't need to use this, but we'll see, we'll see. So again, going in with the shade five, we are gonna use this as like our foundation. So remember, it's gonna look dark, like very dark, but it's not gonna be like a lot of coverage. So when it blends out, it does blend out to my fake tan. Um, I do like this product, spoiler alert. I think it's really nice. The only thing um, that I've experienced is that it doesn't really set. And so if you don't set it with a powder, I feel like later on throughout the day, like if you touch your face, it kind of moves. That's just my experience. So I do set it with a powder, but I do notice that even when I set it with a powder, um, I still get that glow back. So don't be afraid to set this with a powder. It is a very glowy product and that glow does shine through, especially throughout the day. See how that matches? I know this looks intense, but remember, it's literally like a very, very light skin tint with a lot of glow. Obviously you can use this as a primer under your foundation, but I like the product on its own. I think it gives a really, really nice uh, look for the fake tan girlies like me. If your face really is a lot different than your body and like it bothers you, this would be a really cool product to put on and just leave the house without any makeup on. I mean, if you really truly blend it out, it's just gonna look like your face is just as tan as your body and extra glowy. I mean, look how beautiful this looks. Does it not look like now it matches my skin perfectly? And it doesn't look like I'm actually wearing makeup because your skin shines through. So let me give you guys a little bit of a close up so you can see all my pores in their glory. It just makes your skin glowy, but what I like about it is that it's not overly glowy. I don't like metallic looking skin. To me, this is a natural, subtle glow. It's not going to accentuate pores like crazy. And to me, the the coverage of it is perfect for like an everyday. I mean, this is beautiful. Again, you can use this as a primer, but it's also beautiful on its own. Now I'm going to move on to the shade um, shade six tan deep so again this is a really beautiful way to also bronze with a glowy bronzer so i'm gonna go ahead and put some on my cheeks and on my forehead and we are gonna be looking a little crazy until we put on concealer but that's just the way it goes i like to blend out any cream bronzer liquid bronzer with an angle brush this is the alter ego three and I'm just gonna tap, because this is so liquidy, it will spread a lot. I've been using this a lot, even with like other products, like I don't only use these together, like I will actually use this as a bronzer over just like a regular foundation and it works really well. Again, I've had no problems with these products other than just I need to set it with powder or they're gonna move around. And now we look like a bronze goddess. Mm, mm -mm. What do you guys think I'm drinking? water or diet coke for concealer i'm gonna go ahead and mix two concealers i'm gonna use the regular elf camo concealer i have the shade tan neutral and i'm gonna do a little bit of correcting with the elf flawless brightening concealer and this one's gonna be in the shade medium 30. the cool thing about this concealer is that you don't need much such a good concealer i love elf like I love e.l.f. so, so much. One of my all-time favorite brands, like, they are that girl. They are that girl. E.l.f., if you want to sponsor me again, hello, I'm still here. I love working with you guys. You're amazing. Let's do a little bit on the forehead, like that. That's about it. I love how I'm like, oh, you don't have to use a lot, and then I go ahead and use a lot. It's just who I am. So let's go ahead and blend this out, and you guys will see that the look is going to start coming together with a little bit of highlight, a little bit of coverage. And like always, I do use my concealer as eyelid primer. Definitely stay till the end of the video so you guys can see how no matter how much powder I'm going to use, my face will still look glowy. So now that we have that set, um, I'm going to use two powders just to keep it fun and show you guys two different powders. So I'm going to set my under eyes with the HD powder and the rest of my face with a halo glow setting powder because I think it's fitting. I think it's fitting to use the halo glow with the halo glow. This powder actually has a little bit of a pinky shade. I know the girls are going crazy for pinkies, so I'm gonna use this just for you guys. So right now, I'm only gonna set under my eyes. 
And then I'll use the rest of the face with a halo glow to keep that glow. But like I mentioned, even if you use a regular powder with like no glow, it'll still glow. How many times can I say glow? Glow, 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 glow. Okay, so under eyes are set, and now we're gonna be using the Halo Glow Setting Powder in the shade Medium. Now this powder is a little bit darker, which is kind of why I didn't wanna set my under eyes with, but this powder is really, really nice. It's gonna give a little bit of a glow, but nothing too crazy. Um, so I'm gonna grab a big powder brush. Why don't we just go for the biggest? This is the Jaclyn Hill Morphe JH01. Grab some and tap off all of the excess. We don't need that much powder. And now we're just gonna powder the face. Ugh, nothing like powder in a black shirt. So now that we're set, um, I know it may look like there's only a little bit of glow left, but I'm telling you guys, there's something about these products that like the glow comes back slowly. Like it creeps back in, but it always comes back. But I do feel like my, my face is definitely not matte by any means, but just trust me, the glow will come back. Moving on to bronzer. So just to be extra, I'm gonna use two bronzers. We're first gonna go in with the putty bronzer. I do like this product, but I will say I just prefer the putty blushes. Something about those blushes are just better, but this is a good cream bronzer. So I'm gonna be using the shade Bronze Bell, and I'm just going to add just a little bit just to get that color back. Again, I'm gonna use that same angled brush and just kind of define the cheekbones and the forehead again, and then we will lightly set it with some powder bronzer. This is actually a really good product. I have not used it in a really long time, but now that I'm using it again, like, it's looking really good. Okay, and just to finish it off, we're gonna be using the Primer Infused Bronzer from e.l.f. This is in the shade Constantly Bronzed, and we're just going to set that bronzer. This is very light, that's why I didn't use it by itself, um, but it is really pretty. They just don't have the best shade range for these powder bronzers, but they are really, really nice. And then lastly, we have blush. We're gonna be using the brand new um, e.l.f. blushes. These are the luminous ones. I do like the regular putty ones. They have the same formula as the bronzer. The luminous ones is where my heart is. These are so good. And this is gonna be um, like a blush and a highlight. I'm gonna be using the shade uh, Barbados, which might seem like not a fun shade, but it's a very fun shade. Let me show you guys. Such a beautiful, like bronzy shade. It blends, it lasts, it's affordable, it highlights, it makes you look embarrassed. I love it! The only thing I will say when it comes to all these glowy products is that I don't like when the pores come out, so I'm gonna quickly go back to the HD powder and I'm just gonna grab a puff and I'm just going to blur those pores right here because like I have no time for these pores. I just don't. Okay, so to finish out the brows, you know, you could always go in with the Wow Brow, which is a tinted brow gel, but because we already used the other brow wax, I'm actually just gonna go into one of their Bite Size. This is the Bite Size Shadow in the shade I Love You A Latte. It's a really good neutral one. I guess I'm just gonna use a very light hand of this powder and just kind of draw in some brow hairs. Because we do have that gel, it's gonna stick more and this powder is actually gonna last. And I like the way powder brows look, a little bit more of a natural look. This is a really good palette. Honestly, all of their bite sizes are so good. They need to come out with like a not a bite size, but like a full meal. Like just come out with a full meal. Like give me these shadows as a full meal. You could come out with a collection with like bite size and then do like a little appetizer, little entree action, little dessert action. Elf, call me if you need some ideas. And yes, I still hate this brow. I hate it. Let's move on to eyeshadow. So obviously, you know, we have the bite size, but the newest product that they came out with is actually the e.l.f. No Budge Cream Shadows. Now, I love the No Budge Sticks. I always use the uh, No Budge um, Shadow Sticks as my inner corner highlight, but this came out, and let me tell you guys something. 
I do like the product, but I was kind of disappointed by this shade. Um, so this is the shade Sand Dune. And let me just show you guys what the shade actually looks like. This looks gray, am I right? Like, do you see how this is like a light chocolate and this is gray? Yeah, so I don't love gray shadows on me. Um, and then I did um, get another one called Plateau. And this one's pretty, but it is really dark. So I really can't really go over my whole lid with this. So um, yeah, you know, it kind of sucks because I really wanted like a warm um, shade. But again, this is gray. This is just really dark. Let's see, let me blend it out in the back of my hand and see what I can do. <gasps> I'm nervous. Um, let me grab just like a blending brush. I'm gonna tap it on my lid and hope that it's not too dark. It's gonna be dark. It's gonna be dark. <gasps> oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god, we're going to full emo right now. I'm just gonna blend for like five minutes. Okay, it's blending. These products are actually really nice and they really don't budge and they look really pretty and they're affordable. So if you're into cream shadows and you just don't want to spend a lot of money on it, um, these are really nice. So I'm literally just going to do a black wash of color and I'll be right back. Okay, so it is blended and now I'm going to just quickly grab that, um, that bronzer and just add some color to it. I will say these shadows are easy to work with. They do set and they do last and they're nice and they're pigmented. Obviously I really had to shear this one down but see how it's even working really nice with a powder. So I do like, um, I really do like this product. Um, just not that shade, not sand dune, not sand dune. It's Wyatt's birthday today and I'm gonna be looking like a smoky rocker chick. So for eyeliner, I actually was looking to see like what are the new eyeliners and and I saw these. Um, is this an old product that they came back with? These are the Expert Liquid Eyeliner in the Jet Black. I feel like these are not new, but I feel like maybe they relaunched them. Let me know if you guys know what the deal is, but I figured why not? I've not used a form of eyeliner like this in a long time, so let's go ahead and see how it goes. That was really easy to use, and it's such a fine tip brush that it was so precise. I'm gonna do the other eye and I'll be right back. Okay, so this is actually really, really nice and it dried down matte and it was very affordable. I think it was like $3 for a set of two and it was very easy to use. So this is definitely a good liquid liner if you guys were wondering. Am I the last one to know about these? Are these, is this an old product? Let me know down in the comments. So moving on to mascara. So I have two mascaras for you guys today. Um, I believe this one's newer. This is the e.l.f. Big Mood Mascara, and then this is the e.l.f. Lash Loud Mascara. I like them both, but I prefer this one. This one I'm actually almost out of, but this is like more of a volumizing mascara. This one I thought I would like more because this is more of the kind of brushes that I like, but this doesn't give enough volume. So um, for the sake of the video, I'm going to go ahead and do both. So I'm going to do one coat of this to give length and separation and then give some drama. So again, we're going to do one coat of the e.l.f. Lash It Out Loud Volumizing Mascara. Kind of a funny name because it's called Volumizing Mascara, but I truly think this is more of a lengthening and separating mascara. So this is what one coat looks like. See how it really separated my lashes really nicely and it lengthened them, but I'm just not getting that volume wow factor out of it. I do think it is a nice mascara, but if I were to pick just one, I would probably pick this one. So now again, I'm gonna use the Big Mood e.l.f. Mascara. They're both in the shade black, by the way, and this is just gonna add that extra oomph that we need. Alrighty, so lashes are now on fleek. So we are almost done. I guess all we have to do is a little bit of inner corner highlight and the lips. So this is not new, but it's just my go-to. This is the e.l.f. No Budge shadow stick in perfect pearl it's perfect and it's pearl it's the best inner corner highlight ever and it's so easy and it stays on and it's affordable so okay don't hate me but I'm quickly gonna add just a little bit more blush just a little bit you guys know my face eats blush and now let's move on to the lips so I'm gonna go ahead and take off this lip gloss now let me tell you guys something 
I'm not in love with the lip liners uh, that they came out. I don't love the shape of them, but we'll give them a shot. Um, I haven't used these in a very long time. Let's do light brown. So it does come in like a triangle shape, which I personally don't love, but let's go ahead and line the lips. They're just not my favorite. Like, do you see how I'm going over it a bunch of times to get that pigment? I hate the shape. I don't hate the formula, but I just think, I don't know. They have come out with so many amazing lip liners. Do you guys remember e.l.f. Retro Paradise? These are so good. All their pencil liners are so good. So I'm not sure why this formula changed, but it's just not my favorite. They're, they're not bad. They're just not my favorite, but they're not bad. And to finish off the lips, we're going to be using one of their glossy lip stains. Now, these are really nice. So let's see. Okay, Power Mauve is very pinky. I'm not sure why it's called Power Mauve. And let's look at Basic Beige. Why don't we mix them? Let's do basic beige first. Ooh, this is pretty. I might not even need to mix them actually. So these are actually really nice because they're hydrating lip stains. They're gonna look like a gloss at first and then they're gonna fade into the most beautiful stain. I really like these because a lot of stains are actually very drying, but this one is actually nice and hydrating and so it feels really good on the lips and it lasts a really long time that is what that looks like and i think it looks gorgeous so just to finish out the face we're gonna set the face um the newer setting spray is actually the stay all day blue light micro setting mist um my favorite one is the green one i'm not sure if there's a big difference or not but we'll use this one because it's newer but just know my holy grail setting spray just in general not just in this video is the stay all night micro fine setting mist it's so good but this, this is good too, and it has such a good mist. Alrighty guys, so this is the end of the video. This is a final look. As you can see, I did use a lot of powder, but see how the glow does not go away? Um, so I truly, truly, if you're the most interested in these products, I'll just say that um, I really did enjoy them. We actually forgot to use this one. Um, I don't think I'm gonna be getting a lot of use of just like a highlighter shade. I think that once you use this as your complexion or your bronzer, you don't really need a highlighter shade because you already have this. Unless you love cream highlights, I personally don't use them, but it is a really nice product. It's really good packaging, it's glass, it's a doe foot, it's inexpensive, and it's really beautiful, so I definitely recommend the line. And of course, you guys know all my thoughts on all these other products. I love e.l.f. Truly, you cannot go wrong with e.l.f. It's so affordable and it's such high quality. Like always, I will link every single product and shade down below. I love you guys so so much. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!